Hi everybody, it's that time again, it's Emporium Galactic Survival and we are at the stage where we are ready to go and build our capital vessel. Now the capital vessel in my opinion is one of the most versatile ships because you can go land with it, if you build it right you can go attack with it um, it really really is very very good the thing that you need to remember um, is what you want it for and we're going to want it as a movable base because when they bring out the big galactic map which we're hoping to was is going to be very good in the future we are going to want to um, really have a good look and see if we need to change the build and stuff like that. Now, I've got a few ideas of how to do the build. I'm going to build it like the shuttle, but bigger. Um, so it's going to be long, cylindrical, um, and it will have lots of nice features in it because we're going to have food power and you've got to think of where you're putting these you're going to need your, your core plants um, because the core needs to be protected and that is the biggest thing you need to really work on <laughs> and that is what we're going to be spending a lot of time um, a lot of time on because they normally if you keep the guns if you're attacking at the front that is where your main uh, bits and pieces are going to be attacking is from the front which is going to be the cockpit and they won't stop firing once once you're dead and the cockpit is done they won't stop firing which is a bit of a shame right uh, Paris time 19 minutes on there so we can shift and right click on those And then we can escape out of there. Right. So, see these all growing again, so that's really, really good for us. So, first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be hopping in here and we're going to be turning it on. Yeah, we're just going to level it off and we're going to F out. Okay. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the landing gear. We're doing this. Okay, so landing gear placement is very important. Okay, because you don't, you want to try and keep it nice and spread out. Okay, and then and then we're just going to put one on the back there. on the back there and then underneath you're going to want to have the docking pad now I always get confused with this with the way it goes uh, up and stuff like that but I think that is the way it goes because if you rotate it it doesn't look right yeah so that I think is the correct placement so that we go in there and we just um, lower ourselves okay so it gives you a little bit more height yeah and you can see that we need to
possibly look at this because we are falling over and we we can't have us fall over I don't know if it if it will right itself what is it is it shift and see So, F out of there. So we can probably see that these two legs here are um, too close to each other. So we need to take those out. So we'll just go and um, saw that. Again, this is like easier when it's um, underneath. Constructor. Let's see, can we? No, we can't make the parts.
there we go, a bit more sturdier. Right, so also what we need to do is now back there and drop down it kind of will fall, fall but if you find a, a reasonable flat piece of land still going to tip so it does really need to be on flat feet of land otherwise you're going to have problems um, we'll have to work out the design for that because um, we don't want a tipping over right so let's go straight up this is the uh, thing that we did now you can see that uh, we've got that there it does take a little bit of time to uh, get up with this unless you actually um, put more downward thrusters on but that uh, uses more more power so H for helmet on I think is or is it you See the helmet is on because it's like a, a grey area around the screen. So here we are. We are in space. Okay, about 2,000 metres up. And you will stop eventually. Okay. Now, this is the tricky part. Okay. First of all, you can just have a look around and you can see where you are. It's easier to really use the mouse on this part. Okay, but what you're looking for is kind of a, um, a landmark and we can see like we've got a kind of I know figure there so we're going to turn off the power so we're not moving this is very important you must not move must have your helmet on and you must have your jetpack on. Okay, and now we're going to F out. So you're literally just standing on top of your um, on your small vessel. Now it does get kind of um, weirdish on this because you're you're moving in um, in space 
so we're now going to put our capital vessel down it doesn't really matter where it goes at the moment but this is the capital vessel and you can see that this is where the command post is now for me I don't like uh, this here okay but if you click F and you click P you can see these are missing all right and again escape and F so what I normally do because you can make you can make these okay is take those off and the first thing that I will be doing is um, one two uh, because this is what they're going to be attacking okay and then what I want to do here is I want to make this Obviously, everybody has their own design. And how they do things. This is one of my designs. and then like I said eventually all of this will be um, filled in so we're now just gonna free up that space now that is the capital vessel you can see that there now F in there turn on and the thing that we're going to be doing is the planet revolves okay so we're going to aim for this kind of bit here don't know if that's where our base is or anything like that but that's where we're going to aim for let me click on number one right now when you want to go you need to make sure that you're going to be going west okay then when you're sort of like kind of level-ish and you level off you can turn your helmet off you can go to map say right where's my base and you can see that your base is um, to the east
just worked so right so we're going to be going east now we will be flying rather close to one of the drone bases and I want to put up So we've overshot it. to be a little bit more manoeuvrable So we've got a little bit of side uh, bit there. You can see that uh, we've got a little bit of side damage. Look. So what we need uh, now is some parts for the CV um, and the first thing I want to do is uh, let's get up here 
is obviously we're going to be building blocks there uh, but if I can get one of these up there and a generator and stuff like that it's going to be much easier for me to um, start building now that's a large construction now you can see that we need power coils for the advanced um, constructor now the power coils require zirconium and estrium no idea where those are and gold coins obviously now if you're playing on the server you might be able to buy them so here again flux coils um, they need st stuff um, T1 large generator T2 fuel tank whoa yeah look at that see offline protection there's your cockpit look So we're going to take the um, O2 station and the large O2 tank. Okay, we're going to be taking those up there. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to take half of these. Um, don't think much of that one. Copper ore there. And that basically should be what we need, but we're going to be taking the um, fuel packs, the hydrogen fuel packs. is I'm going to make another hundred of um gonna do we right we're gonna need to have a look at the SV and we're gonna want to have um another one of those Anyway, we'll carry on with this. We'll see you next episode when I decide whether we put on more thrusters or not because of it, it going a little bit slow, but I, I'm not too, too fussed about that. And we'll see you soon. Have fun. Stay safe. See you on the bounce.